Hello, Rimantas Petrauskas here and today's question is what is the difference between signal provider ID and the filter master accounts options? Excellent question. First, I would note that the signal provider ID is available only with the local trade copper VAP license. Now here's a simple example of how you can use the filter master accounts option. Say you have master account number one and master number two. If you enter filter master accounts one on the client TA, then you will receive trades only from the master account number one. All master and slave signal provider IDs must match. But if you want to have like separate groups of trade copying campaigns, you need to use the signal provider ID option. Say we add one more master account to our previous example. So add master number three and want to copy this to slave number nine or some completely other group of slaves. And we do not want to mix the trades. So you simply use the signal provider ID equal to on the master account three and slave number nine. Otherwise, if you use signal provider ID one on the slave number nine, it will receive trades from all masters one, two and three. In this case, you will need to use filter master accounts to separate trades and this could be a mess. But remember, if master account number three is a completely different trade copying campaign like another strategy and you just do not want to mix those trades, then you can separate them with signal provider ID. Uh, then you do not need to, to mess with the filter master accounts option. So once again, if you have masters one, two and three, and all of these trades should be copied to a different sets of slave accounts, it is just easier to use signal provider IDs to separate them into groups instead of using filter master accounts option for each client TA. Please like and share if this video was helpful to you and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you have any more questions, visit m 4 copper.com or contact my support team.